Hey, I'm Richard Andrews, and I'm going to run through how to keep straight pool score on paper really quick. So the way this is laid out is by racks. This is your first rack, second rack, third rack, fourth rack, etc. So you, there's always 15 balls in each rack that can be made. So you want to make sure you always have that, 50, that number 15 in mind. So let's say uh, you're playing the match here. John breaks first. And uh, and as normal, John doesn't make anything. And then it's Bob's turn. Bob makes um, a few balls. And what you do when Bob and then Bob misses. So what Bob does when Bob misses is he counts the number of balls left on the table. And if there's ten balls remaining on the table and John has zero, that means Bob has five so far in rack one. So now it's John's turn. John shoots for a little bit <clears throat> and misses, and he counts what's left on the table. There's five now. Five balls remaining on the table. So five plus five is ten. Ten from 15 total balls is five. So now John has five, and Bob has five. And it's Bob's turn again, and he runs out, leaving one ball on the table, the break ball. And... Um, so uh, Bob sees there's one ball on the table. John made five. That means Bob made a total of nine balls in the first rack. So now the total is five for John, and we'll circle it, and nine for Bob. That will be our running total. Total. We always uh, circle that in the rack, and we'll bring, it, bring the total down at, when we finish the next rack. So now it's Bob's turn, and it continues uh, to shoot, and he runs the entire next rack. So that's 14, 14 more balls. And as I said, we'll bring the totals down. So let's bring down the five to here and circle it. And then 14 and 9 is 23. Bring that down here and circle it. So we still have our running total. So the total is 5 to 23 at this point. Uh, Bob tries to make the breakout shot and misses. So now we're back over to John. John makes a few balls. And uh, again, there's there's 10 balls left on the table. So Bob has zero this rack. 10 balls uh, remaining on the table. That means John has five so far in this rack. And uh, on this next turn, uh, Bob makes a few balls. And on the last last uh, shot, he makes a ball and fouls. He, he scratches. So he's going to make the table right first by spotting that one ball that he fouled on and, <clears throat> and then counts the table. That counts the number of balls left on the table. And let's say that he counts the number of balls left on the table and there's five. So uh, five plus five. Uh, is 10 from 15 that means he's made five so far but what about that file for scratching we don't we don't make this a four here what we do is take it off of that running total so we'll mark out that 23 and give him 22 and we need to circle that again to show that that's the new running total and uh, so now it's John's turn he makes a few balls and misses he counts the number of balls left on the table. Let's say there's uh, th uh, three balls left on the table. Uh, there's three balls left on the table plus Bob. It, Bob's five. That's eight from 15. So now John has seven. Bob makes the remaining balls on the table. So that's just one one ball left. Uh, and he's ready to break again, but uh, so one and seven is eight. That means Bob has seven so far this rack, in that rack. And then you carry the, uh, the, the total again. So five plus seven is 12. Circle the total. Seven to add it to 22. 29 and circle the new total. Go down and down until one of them reaches 60. And the game will be over.
And that's how you keep score for a straight pool on paper. <laughs>